Welcome to my Lead of Nation seminar. And today we'll be looking at two things. The first would be the origins of the League of Nations. And second, we'll be looking at the organizational type. Now, let's look at the origin. How did the League of Nations came about and what was the idea behind it? Now, we have to understand that in 1918, no countries wanted the mass slaughter of war. It just came out of the war and the armistice was signed between the Allies and the Germans on 11 November 1918. The attitude of the people in Europe was that they didn't want another war. Hence, they looked at World War I as the war that ended all war. Hence, countries needed to find a place to meet and collaborate to find peaceful solutions. What does this mean? It means that they need to have a headquarters where they can come together, discuss matters, and find solutions to those problems. What kind of problems are we talking about? Basically, there are two. The first type of problem is resolving political disputes. The second type of problem it involves humanitarian issues. How do we deal with humanitarian issues? Now, let's look at the big three. Who are these big three? Now, the big three are America, Britain, and France. Now, how did these three countries view the League? America looked at the League as a world parliament in which representatives from all nations would meet frequently, regularly, to reach agreement. Britain, on the other hand, saw it as an organization where nations do meet together, yes, but only when there is an emergency. France, on the other hand, saw the League of Nations as a strong organization with its own military. In other words, France saw it as an extension of their military arm in order to make the place safer. Now, before we end this session, let's go through each one of these countries carefully to understand why they came up and why did they see the League the way they did. America, they looked at the League of Nations as a world parliament in which representatives from all nations would meet regularly to reach agreement. Why did they view the League this way? Now, what is a world parliament? What is a parliament, basically? Well, a parliament is where representatives of the people come together to trash out all the issues that they face on the ground so that policies can be um, implemented, basically. Policies can be discussed and implemented. So what is this world parliament? countries coming together so they can discuss. Now, why did they view the League this way? You have to go back to their origin. How did America come about, the origins of America? Basically, it is by the people, for the people. What is a parliament? By the people, for the people. Hence, America looks at it that way. What about Britain? What is their motivation to look at the League only for nations to come together only when there is emergency cases. Okay, let's look at British background. What is their concern here? What is their priority after the war? After the war, they were very concerned about their influence in the global sphere. British Empire was the largest in the world prior to the war. Now they need to rebuild themselves. They need to consolidate their power. And hence, they are focusing on these issues. Now, when emergency cases arises that would probably threaten the British Empire, this is when nations can come together to discuss how to resolve it. What about France? What is their point of view? How did they look at the League of Nations? Now, remember France was invaded by the Germans twice. In, okay, the first one 
was in 1870, 1871, during the Franco-Prussian War, of which France lost and pretty much lost Alsace-Lorraine. The second time that they were invaded by the Germans was in 1914, when the Kaiser declared war on France and invaded France through Belgium. These were the two instances France borders were breached, basically. And what would their attitude be? Insecure. Hence, what will their priorities be? They would want to be, they would want to feel secure. So, how do they do that? Strengthen their military, but there's only so much they can do. Under the League of Nations, they can collaborate their military strengths. Hence, they looked at the League as an organization with its own military. That's how they looked at it. Now, when the three of them came together at the Hall of Mirrors and discussed all these matters during the Paris Peace Conference, and of course, they were discussing about the League of Nations, they would put their points across to each other in order to find a common ground. And hence, there was a lot of discussions. And you can even imagine and appreciate the kind of tension that would have gone between these three key nations, the big three, as we call them. So these are the organization type, how these countries, the big three, looked at the League of Nations. And that wraps up this session for today. Until the next session, thank you for your time.